Welcome to my studio, happy Easter, and welcome to the second edition of Draw Together with Armadillo Art Experience. Um, today, we're going to draw three different Easter type scenes. We're going to have a go at drawing a chicken with some chicks. We're going to have a go at drawing a sheep with some lambs, and then we're going to have a go at drawing an Easter bunny at the end. Um, don't feel you have to draw all of them. Maybe just pick your favorite. Of course, you can draw all of them if you want. And if you would like, you'd even make this, one of these into an Easter card. You could perhaps email to a, a relative or give to somebody in your house. So we're going to start off by drawing the hens. And for this, I'm going to use colouring pencils, um, but you can use any art materials you have to hand, any crayons, any felt pens or paints. And then with the other two, I'm going to move on and use paints. But again, you can, you can use art materials you have lying around. Um, so without further ado, let's get on with drawing our first subject, a nice Easter chicken. So we're going to start by drawing the chicken's eye, about there. So we've got a nice little bit of space above and lots of space below. Just one eye, so we're going to be viewing the chicken from the side. And then we're going to draw the comb bit on top of the chicken's head. And then we can draw her neck, like that. And then the hen's wing. We can join that sort of lower bit of body up there. I'll put a little bump in there for her leg and then tail. You can draw a bit of feathery detail on the wing. Just like that. We can draw that bit, that's going to be red later. And then we're going to draw the chicken's beak. And she's happy because it's Easter. And we're going to draw that bit. It might be called a wattle, that bit, but I'm not 100% sure. And now we're going to add some feet to the chicken. We'll just add a bit of feathery detail to the chicken's front. And we're about, we're about done with the bigger chicken. And now we're going to draw some chicks. So we'll start by drawing the first one. Their eyes, beak, nice fluffy body, and a wing, little legs there. And then we can add a couple more, really as many as you want to at this point. So I'm putting four in, so it's the fourth one going in. Now I'm starting to add a bit of colour. I'm going to start by adding the straw in a brown colouring pencil and then I'm going to colour in the chickens, the red on the chicken. Then I'll add a bit of yellow for her beak, a bit on the straw. When well, I say yellow, it's kind of a, more of an ochre like a light brown colour, but again, you just use what you've got to hand and then we'll do the colour in the chickens yellow. nice blue eye for the chicken and then I'm going to colour her in ready brown and a bit of darker brown colour we can add a bit of shadow and a little bit of detail to the chicken and maybe add a little bit more to the straw with the yellow and there we have it our finished chickens so now we're going to move on to our second uh, subject of the day the sheep so next we're going to draw our spring lambs in the field with a nice uh, mummy sheep there, or ewe as they're called. So we'll start by drawing the mummy in the middle. So we're going to start with the rise about there. So we're going to add some hair or wool at the top and we'll pop these ears in. And then we can draw her face. And then next to her, we're going to draw a little lamb. So we're going to start by popping his eyes in there, just as we did with the other sheep and we're going to put again a little bit of hair on top, a little bit of wool, his ears and then we can draw his nose and face. Next we'll draw in the little lamb's body, like a little cloud with some legs.
and then we'll pop the mum sheep's body in behind then as she is standing behind him. Nice curly lines to make it look woolly. And then we're going to add another little lamb. And start with his eyes, and his little bit of wool on top, and as his ears going in, we draw his face. And then again, we can add a nice woolly body for the lamb. Like that for his little legs. Now we've got a bit of space up the top there. So it might be fun, I've just thought, to draw in another lamb bouncing away like a lamb does on their little leap for spring. So there he is, his eyes going in. And we can start with his eyes and build the rest of the character outwards again. Put a little bit of hair in there in his ears. And then we can draw his lovely woody body. And he's jumping in the air. Full of the joys of spring there. And we, by drawing that the eyes in and the head in first position him, it's quite easy, hopefully, to sort of work out a quite a complicated scene like that. Got little movement lines there to make him look like he's jumping. Now I'm going to add some grass. Now we could just leave it here with a few flowers, or I'm going to go the whole, get the whole hog or whole sheep and stick a uh, farm gate in the background and just make it a little bit more of a scene. But again, you don't have to do this. You can just draw as little or as much as you you like, really. And that's about done for that, so we can uh, colour it in now. So I'm just going to use paints, but as I say, you can use any art materials you've got to hand. So I'm going to use green, blue, red, yellow and brown. And we can pretty much mix all our colours from those. I mean, you don't really need the green, to be honest. You can, you know, mix your own green up. But So I'll put some yellow into the green to make it a nice grass colour. And then I'm just going to use the green on its own to paint the hedge. Pop a bit of that yellow and green colour in the background to make a field. So we'll put a bit of brown on the fence. And then I'm going to put a little bit of blue into the sky as well. So I'm just going to mix some blue and brown together to paint a little bit of grey tone on their faces and legs. I know that you get all sorts of different sheep, but I'll go for ones with a bit of a grey face. I'll put a bit of that on their fur as well. And that's it done. And that's our sheep pitch complete. And now, let's have a go at an Easter bunny. So again, we'll start with the bunny's eyes. Popping them in there. What we need to do is leave enough space at the top to allow his ears to fit in. I'll just draw those in now. So nice, nice ears there. Then we'll add a nose. Little smile. Draw his face round it. Little chin. And then I'm just going to draw the sort of top half of the bunny's body, the little tail poking out. And then I'm going to draw some grass in front. So just adding that in now. Just join up that bit of tail and just put the sort of top of the bunny's legs then in his back leg. So it looks like he's sat in the deep grass. And now we can draw some Easter egg shapes. To make it a really nice sort of Easter-y scene. Let's do this third one over here, a bit bigger. But please do use your imagination and draw it how you would like to and add as much or as little as you'd like. So now I'm going to pop in a butterfly up there. I think just we've got a bit of empty space. So you can pop that in, it's quite nice and spring-like. And let's add some daffodils. So I'll just start off by drawing the end of the flower, and then I'll put the little trumpet bit in and put the petals around the outside. So let's just draw a second one there in the same way. And now we're ready to add some colour. I'm just going to use the same paints as I had out from the sheep a minute ago, so we've got the same selection of colours. So again, I'm going to use yellow and green mixed together to do the grass. 
little bit yellow on the daffodils and a little bit on the eggs. I'm imagining they're sort of wrapped up in foil, colourful foil, so I'm just painting the Easter eggs. Lots of different colours. A bit of blue in there as well, I think. Green on top of that one. So now let's colour the rabbit. I'm going to mix some yellow and some red together to make a sort of peachy colour for his ears and nose, a little bit of blue for his eyes, and then I'm going to mix yellow and brown to make a kind of nice fur colour for the rabbit. So last but not least, let's add some colour to our butterfly. I think we're about there with that one. Well, that's our Easter bunny finished, and we're getting near the end of the episode now. Hopefully you enjoyed drawing one or all of our Easter characters today. If you do a really good drawing you're proud of and are really happy with it, why not post it to our Facebook page? The address should be coming up here um, as I speak. And we saw a couple of great sloths from the last episode, so hopefully we'll see some of your lovely Easter drawings. Um, and then next time, we're going to be painting a Tyrannosaurus Rex, so I hope you'll enjoy doing that too. Um, so as I say, that's it for today. Um, happy Easter, thanks for watching, and goodbye. Thank you.